Hello, good day, and welcome to Encouragement and Prayer. I want to thank you for watching the video, sharing the video with your family and your friends, so together we can be an encouragement to others, and together we can share the gospel. Today I'm reading from Revelation chapter 8, verses 1 and 2. When the Lamb opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. Then I saw the seven angels stand, be stand before God, and seven trumps were given to them. Heaven becomes quiet when Jesus has opened the seventh and final seal. I believe it is at this point heaven knows that the wrath of God is about to be released. The seventh seal is a call for eight angels, seven who are given a trumpet, and each trumpet will be blown. The eighth angel will hold a censer of incense that will go up to the Lord with the prayers of the saints. The incense will be added with fire from the altar to be thrown to the earth and to cause thunder, rumblings, fighting, and an earthquake. This is the beginning of the worst to come. The first trumpet, when it is blown, will cause one third of the earth to be burned. The second trump will kill one third of all creatures in the sea and one third of the ships will be destroyed. The third trumpet will poison the rivers, killing many people. The fourth will destroy one third of the sun and one third of the moon, bringing darkness to the earth. If you think this is bad, we are given another warning before the last three trumpets are blown. The worst is still to come. We are told these things beforehand, so we can be prepared to be saved from God's wrath, and God's servants can disciple others. Lord, I just want to pray right now. You have given people the warning of what your wrath is to come. Not to scare us, but so we know what is coming and we can be saved from the wrath. Because you sent your son, Jesus, to save us not from just death, but this wrath, that anyone that calls upon the name Jesus, confessing that he is God, confessing of their sins, and asking for forgiveness, will be saved from death and your wrath. I pray today that this message will be heard and those that have not received Jesus as their Savior will, will receive Him today to become one with you to have with Jesus in them they have the Spirit in them to go and share the gospel with others so others too will be saved from this wrath. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to give you the opportunity today if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that He died for your sins and rose from the get grave, today you can ask forgiveness, repent, and turn to God. I just ask you to pray with me right now. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned 
and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins. And I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now I want to encourage you, if you prayed that prayer, not just accept Jesus as your Savior, but accept Him as Lord. Make Him Lord of your life. Begin a habit of reading the Bible daily, for in the Bible we are taught the life that we are supposed to live that is pure, holy, and sinless.